Okay, let's pick up where we left off, doing who the fuck knows what. So, central gutter, which implies that there's a lower gutter, which I still don't know where to get to. Like, I am so lost in this weird wannabe blight town. Yeah, that's obviously death by falling. No, not silence. Bad luck ahead. So, should I just drop down? I guess the worst that happens is I lose some souls. Yeah. I'm close to where I want to be. I mean, I... Hmm. I mean, I'm not even going to lose any souls because my spawn is right there. I'm not like I'm losing anything. However, that said, fuck you. So the question is, where can I drop down to get to that ledge below me? Feel free to tell me where to go if, I, if I'm, if i like, completely lost. Because I obviously don't fucking know. Damn it. No, 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 no. The other side of this wall? How do I get there? Damn it. I think I have to jump the gap and go around? Oh. I feel like there's some, like, leap of faith sort of thing that I have to do at some point. You know? Something. There's also that locked door by the one guy. And there's definitely some areas that I haven't been. I don't I don't necessarily like vertical levels. I think they're an interesting concept, but they're often really they're they're hard to navigate. And by hard, I mean almost impossible. Oh, for fuck's sake, I jumped. Thanks, game. 
vertical levels are always bad. Just in general. Like, if the game is not designed with vertical levels as its, like, functional creation point, it's not going to do well with vertical levels. I mean... Just, just in general. And, and I'm going to use WoW as an example because it's easy to shit on WoW. There we go. But, like, when you have normal levels that are flattish, maybe they've got mountains and stuff, and then you go and throw in a level that's straight up just up and down, up and down, up and down. Like, uh, some of the Cataclysm levels areas that are almost completely... There, there's no way to tell where something is because it might be hundreds of feet up in the air above you. If it cannot be mapped in Euclidean manner, then it is not user-friendly, pretty much. Like, if it... If you need to look at a guide to figure out where to go for something, it's probably badly designed. So I need to get like up there maybe, and then go across that? Is that what's right? Which is... Down here, and then across through here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about anybody. You can just chill out down there. None of, none of that makes any sense to me, Royal. Because from where I'm at right now, there, like, I can't get to the fog to kill any rats. To even see any rats. You know? Dark weapon. You wish this game had maps? Yeah, me too. Me too. The good news is, is I kind of have a map of where I've been, thanks to the fires that we've lit. Again, it's one of those things where, like, because stuff is not... For fuck's sake. Because stuff is not um, designed all on the same level, on the same plane, it becomes difficult to manage. Which I'm sure is by design, because fuck this game. How can we make something unfun? Well, let's take Blight Town and make it worse. Remember all those things people hated in Blight Town? Let's do that again. Okay, so I. I <gasps>
so make it so items fall through the map. Yeah, like it, an important drop. But what if it were to fall and be inaccessible for the rest of the game? <laughs> like, good job. Like, who hurt this guy? That's what I want to know. Who hurt this guy? And it's like, it's, it's super inconsistent. Like, look right now, right now. I'm standing on nothing. I'm standing on nothing. Nothing. There's literally nothing there. It's air. But I'm fine. But if I go and I stand on that one other spot that's literally just air, I fall to my death. Because fuck consistency, I guess. Having you on your faith, ugh. So wait, is it the only place to get the Heidi Lance? Is it necess- like, is it something you need to finish the game? Or is it just a really good weapon? It's a good weapon. Okay, well. Prisoner's Hood. Just what I needed. <laughs> Again, that same spot that it, it's a gap in the ground but it's actually a hole unlike the other one there's a gap in the ground but isn't a hole video games that that's why I don't like this this is just it's it's shitty and inconsistent. So like this one, you fall and die. And it's really easy, you can see I'm getting stuck on the fucking floor right there. I wasn't doing that on purpose. This right here, wait, pick up this item, which fell through the floor. This right here, you can go over. This right here, you can go over. With that, you can't. You get stuck right there. You get stuck on the floor right there. Schematic map, there's just a path to the fog gate, and oh Jesus, is it the long way around? I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Okay, where the hell am I going from here? I'm going over this way. There's a little polygon right across the first bridge in PS1 that always did that. We run, and we explode! We're gonna blow up! Rotten pointers. Cool. Okay.
now. If we can go five minutes... Let's see. That's a gap. That's where I need to go down. Which I will do in just a minute. However, I want to see what's over here. Without falling to my death because I clip into geometry. God damn it. Janet. Oh, you're ugly. I have this feeling that whatever that is is going to explode, considering the number of corpse puddles that are right here. Or blood stains, or whatever the hell they're called. See what's in here before I go jumping anywhere. Okay. okay. <sighs> Wicked Eye Great Shield, Fanshe. Okay. So I can jump down there to the fog gate, or I could not do that. And I could jump down here into this section. Um, where this is not where I thought I was. That's bad. Because this means yep, I need to be right there. Okay. Good to know. You could nap. If I could navigate you to the Havel's armor set, I would. What could go wrong? Okay. No, this is fine. I'm 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 making progress, and I know where I need to be. So I'm I'm not I'm actually not upset. Assuming is that down here? No. Okay, but I know where I need to go now. fall down that time. Got him with the backswing, which is good, because that dark weapon is bullshit! If you didn't have a stam shield because it works like the evil eye ring. Oh man, if only. here before I get poisoned. Okay. Now, I need to go across here. And lose an item through the floor. Not for me. Pretty much. 
This game is just a series of fuck yous. I'm sure I could have easily just fallen into that slot right there and been killed. Another item just fell through the floor. Like, I'm 100% sure you can fall through that and die. One hundred percent sure. Honestly, more than a hundred percent. Okay. That's a giant ant. Yeah, that's probably the, the boss, the clean ant bitch. Oh yeah, you're right, that is a big ant. Poison Moss, Visions of Friend, Far Off a Friend, okay. Waste another one of these. Sorry, but I want like every torch on. Hurt durability of it, but still there. And game is cure poison. Ramped, right? I really do, like, for fuck's sake. I, I get annoyed at games that are wildly inconsistent with things like holes in the floor because it's really just bad design to teach your players not to trust you. And, like, if you're trying to be all, oh, we're gimmicky, he he he. It's not good design, though. Like, it's just shitty. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's go down one of these ladders and see what's down here. will be missed. Trying to light like everything I can on fire for later. Like torch wise. Okay, I guess there's nothing on this one. 
let's make an area where can you lose drops permanently. Pretty much. Like, Dark Souls is just... Uh, a much longer version of Fuck You than... Dark Souls 2 is just a much longer version of Fuck You than Dark Souls 1. And a much crueler version than Dark Souls 3. Here's a ladder that goes nowhere. Out of seven other ladders. <laughs> like, who who made this game and why? And why? just goes nowhere. a waste of time. This one's a waste of time. The middle one is pretty much a waste of time. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go fuck around with the ant first. I wanna see what's over there. Oh yeah. Well, now I'm leaving. Good job, game. You forced me to play like a dick. Like, this is the kind of gameplay that would make me quit a normal game. This is, this is sunken cost fallacy realized. I'm playing this not because it's fun, but because I want to complete it, because I have to. Because this isn't really fun. It's just kind of sucky. No, I said sucky. Fucky, too, but... Is killing her bad? Can someone tell me? Like, the ant queen? You know what, I'll just look it up myself because I happen to have that thing open.
Do not kill this giant at no matter how terrifying. She's actually friendly and will not. Gas waves will cure poison. She's guarded above. Okay. So that's what you were saying earlier, is you were telling me not to kill her. Heals poison is harmless. Okay. So your, your weird sentence structure can fuzzled me. Her farts cure ailments because, you know, why not? I, I just, I'm gonna be at full before I go down here. Drops poison moss, 300 souls per dead. Okay, so better to just leave her alive because she's not gonna hurt you because she's not hostile to you. Gotcha. All right, we're gonna slow go down this one. This is the one that has the item, isn't it? Hole. Oh. Is it? No? Oh, yeah. Rotten pine resin. Okay. I thought I could make that jump. I tried really hard. I was like, I could get that, that's fine. Nope. No such luck. No such luck. That's fine. I'm not mad. Let's try this better this time. Whatever, that worked. God damn it! <laughs> God dang it, Bobby! <laughs> Ooh, this game. This game. This. This fuck. This fucking game, yo. This fucking game. <laughs> 